What's up everyone, and welcome to Pokemon Ash Gray version. This is gonna be our first Let's Play that we're actually gonna do on YouTube, so... Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, this is the first time I'm gonna be a YouTuber, so... Hopefully my videos are gonna be okay, I guess. So let's get started. The 1M Sub Circuit Board is not installed. Alright, let's actually skip through the controls, because it doesn't really matter. We already know them. So, yeah. You are a boy from Palatown. Now that you are 10, you can get your Pokemon license. 10 year olds all can, can get a beginner Pokemon from Professor Oak, the town's Pokemon expert. This is just the beginning of your Pokemon adventures. Your journey is destined to be packed with non stop actions, millions of laughs, uh, heart pounding perils, and endless excitement. You'll encounter fantastic friends and whatever. Yeah, alright. Uh, let's. Here's Professor Oak, I guess. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People will fetch you refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by far and wide creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Alright, cool. I hear you want to catch and train Pokemon. Well, that's right, man. You heard right. Alright, let's begin with your name. What is it? Alright, my name is Ash, and let's actually make the S and the H lowercase, because it makes more sense, I guess. Make it, make them all capitalized looks just weird, I guess. Right, so your name is Ash, correct. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. What is his name? Uh, let's actually make Gary also the same thing. Let's make the A or Y, um, lowercase, I guess, so... Yeah! <laughs> and, y. and there we go. Okay, why is his face red? I have no idea. What? Uh, okay, Ash, your very own Pokemon Legends about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Alright, here we go. We can get started. Man, I really like Ash's sprite, by the way. I'm, I gotta say, Metapod23, the creator of this game, really did a good job with that. To pajamas, would you like to change into them? Yep. There we go. Change into them. Let's go downstairs just to... I don't know. Uh, never mind. Ash, get to bed. It's 11 o'clock. You should be asleep. Go to bed, and don't forget to change into your pajamas. Alright. We're already in our pajamas, but let's just go to bed, I guess. <laughs> Ash went to sleep and dreamed of getting his first Pokemon. Raising Bulbasaur. That'd be really simple. It's perfect for beginners. And then there's Squirtle. Choose it or lose it. Oh, hold on. Charmander. That was in the notes. So that's the best way to go. Ash woke up from his restless sleep. All right. <laughs> I don't know, it's... okay. Check the alarm clock, and... I'm late! Oh, goodness. Ash, let's go to the professor's lab, I guess, so that we're not late enough, I guess. You know, I've been wondering, why does our mom have an antenna like that? I have no idea. Anyway, it looks so weird, but whatever. Let's just get out and go to the professor's lab, because he needs our help. Alright, let's go into the building, I guess, because... Why not? <laughs> hey, it's Gary. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, you must be Ash. Better late than ever, I guess. Well, Ash, you snooze, you lose, and you're way behind from, right from the start. I've got a Pokemon, and you don't. And I got the best one. It pays to have a grandfather in the Pokemon business. Now I, Gary, I'll come off to learn the ways of a Pokemon trainer. See you later, Ash boy. All right, see you later, Gary. Good luck with that, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but whatever. Um, let's go upstairs. I'm pretty sure that's Professor Love. I, I played this game before, just so you know. So, yeah. Yo, so, Ash, you decide to show up after all. You want a Pokemon, eh? From the looks of it, you aren't ready for Pokemon training. Hmm, so you say you're ready. Alright then, as you wish. I thought about it a lot, and it took me a long time, but I finally decided to choose Squirtle. Is that the Pokemon you want? Yes. Oh no! Squirtle's already been taken by somebody who was on time. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, I wish I had never slept, but now I will choose as my Pokemon Bulbasaur. 
Yes, Pokemon you want? No, I don't want it, but I actually chose yes, but whatever. <laughs> um, well, that's no problem, because my Pokemon will be Charmander. Yes. Oh, no, the early bird gets the worm, or in this case, the Pokemon. All right, well, that's great. <laughs> Yes, all the star Pokemon I had have been given away to trainers who are on time. Well, there is one left. But I think I should warn you that there is a problem with this last one. Its name is Pikachu. Will you try to train this left mouse deck? Yes, I would. And there we go, we got Pikachu, which is great. Great stuff. No, I would not give it a it's also known as Electric Mouse. It's usually shot, but can sometimes have an electrifying personality. Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Now take these, your Pokedex and Pokeballs. Alright, there we go, we got the Pokedex and five Pokeballs, cool. And we already know the Pokedex, come on, Professor. Come on. It's high tech, yes, I know. <sighs> blah, blah, I know. Oh my goodness. Still a Pokeball, yes, this always work. And but healthy Pokemon. Good luck, Ash. You sh Pikachu sh and there's no like present. Get go and start training that Pikachu. Alright. <laughs> so that was speed. Uh, I, it's not really that important anyway. Because we already know that stuff. Alright, it has hasty nature, it's not that bad. I mean it has speed and minus defense and Pikachu not really the best defense, so yeah, it's not the bad that bad of a nature, I guess. Alright, let's go downstairs, I guess, and let's get started with our journey, I guess. Alright, uh, you know, I've been wondering, why is our mom the only one down there? There is a group of people in the anime, but only our mom is here right now. Ash, I'm glad I caught you. I'm so proud of you. You're finally fulfilling your dream. You're starting your journey as a trainer. But I'll miss you so much. I brought you some traveling items. There's your running shoes. There we go, we got the running shoes from our mom. Cool. We switch shoes with the running shoes. Cool. Press the B button and run. Okay, we know that. We know that. Alright. Uh, town map and handy fame checker. Alright, we got the town map and the fame checker as well. Cool. Cool stuff. Hmm, that's your Pokemon? I thought all Pokemon stay inside their Pokeballs. Why doesn't this one? It's a little weird. Aw, oh, Pikachu. P Pikachu feels... Uh, feels rejected, I guess. I don't know. And don't forget to change your underwear every single day. That's okay. Ash, I have to keep going. I love you. I love you too. And thanks for floating or hovering, whatever, like that. Ash changed from his pajamas to his traveling clothes. Cool. Best spot in the world, by the way, to change my clothes. Ten out of ten spot. Got it. I'm have. I have to say that right now. Anyway, let's just go to, uh, let's just get on started and start with Route 1, I guess. Alright, cool. Um, what? Uh, yeah, here's a Pidgey. Cool. How are you doing, bro? Wild Pidgey appeared. Go Pikachu! Alright, good job, Pikachu. Thanks for rejecting me. Ran up in a tree and refused to battle. Great. Cool. Wild Pidgey flew away. Whatever, whatever. It's, it's just a Pidgey, not that big of a deal. You can find plenty of them anyway. Alright. Pikachu! A wild Spearow appeared and attacked Pikachu. Alright. Oh, this is a really good game, by the way. If you guys really like the anime, you'll like this game a lot. Alright, let's just use Thundershock. The only- yeah, he'll- Pikachu won't listen to you in the beginning of this battle, in the beginning, but he'll listen to you pretty early, after probably like 10 minutes of this. Just for this episode, he's probably just not gonna listen to us. Uh, he can also fall asleep and hurt himself in confusion. Oh, come on! He just felt- oh my god. That's so annoying. I hate the began to nap thing. It's so annoying. It's the most annoying thing in the world. Anyway, you gonna keep growling? That's pretty dumb, Spiro. Gonna have to say, Time. Another growl! Smart, smart move there, Spira. I'm have to say, pretty smart move. Yeah. All right, Pikachu, you need to wake up someday, please. Come on. All right, Peck. Hopefully the stag comes in. No. All right. That's great. Come on, really, Pikachu? You're seriously gonna do this to me, Peck? Come on, stag. Come on. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Pikachu, for having static, I guess. Alright. Woke up, please. Yes, thank you! We got Thundershock off. Probably not gonna kill him, but it'll hold to it. It's... Yup. That's really great. Watch, we're gonna probably do in a million turns after this. Or, by that, I mean one turn, I guess. <laughs> Never mind. Awesome. Good job, Spiro. Or Pikachu, I meant. And we got a decent amount of XP for this, too. Spiro is furious that it was defeated. It's calling to the other Spiro for help. And that poor Spiro, really? It's, that's not that much, man. We can defeat them all with Pikachu. <laughs> if he would listen to us, that is. But whatever, let's... Oh, man. Stupid patch of grass, man. I forgot that there was, like, a... <laughs> So much patch of grass. It's so it was annoying, but whatever. All right, Spiro, leave me alone, man. Pikachu, you can't battle it. You're not gonna listen to us, and it'll take you a really long time to even attack with Thunder Shock. <laughs> uh, come on. Oh man, you're gonna run into like a million Spiros, probably. Oh man. All right. Oh my God. What the heck? Come on, stop. Me alone, Spiro. Seriously, man. Run away. There you go. Good job, Pikachu. Oh my god! We didn't even, like, walk a s even one step. All we did was, like, turn around. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Stupid Spiros, man. They're so annoying. Like, that's... It's not them that's annoying. It's just this stupid patch of grass. It's huge. Alright, hopefully this is the last Spiro that we see. Oh man, stupid Spiros, man. Spiros are... Spiros, they're good Pokemon, I guess, but... I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to make a point of. Alright, let's swim in. Here's Misty, I guess. Hey, kid, I'm trying to fish. Oh, is that a Pokemon? Is it hurt? You need to get your Pikachu to, to a Pokemon Center right away. Pikachu. Pikachu. Alright, <sighs> that's a hospital for Pokemon. There's one in Viridian City. Hey, wait a minute, kid. That's my bike! Oh, uh, she got rocked. That's pretty funny, Ashley. <laughs> Alright, the Wild Spiro won't let you pass. Ash sent Pikachu, Pikachu to its Pokeball. Spiros, do you know who I am? So, I'm Ash from the town of Pallet. I'm destined to be the world's number one Pokemon master. I can't be defeated by the likes of you. I'm going to capture and defeat you all. You hear me? Come and get me! Pikachu appeared from his Pokeball. Its electric power was charged by a stray bolt of lightning. Pikachu used Thundershock on an attacking Spiro. Great. I don't get how ho oh like, in this game, is just so freaking low. It's, like, so close to Ash's head, man. Uh, it's probably hard to make him really high, I guess. Uh, I would probably never, I would probably never got to be able to do that. But anyway. Um, there we go, we got Viridian City. We're actually gonna end it off here, guys. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like.